in America, I'm trying to be very careful. One false move and this thing could be falling right out of my head and pop. Then we got to evacuate the whole place. I'm not kidding you. By the way, welcome to Earth Day. Oh, I love the Earth. I'm so green. We're doing this whole show um, all on, these are um, solar lights. Anyway, time to go out and buy those energy efficient light bulbs the government wants you to buy so bad, uh, so badly. They are fantastic. Not only do they suck all the electrolytes right out of you, they just they cast this nice insane asylum or hospital glow to your house. It's great. But did you know that these friendly bulbs contain toxic mercury? Yes. Like paint, batteries, thermostats, and other hazardous household items, these bulbs, you just don't throw these away. You haven't done that, have you? What were you thinking, man? The EPA has come up with um, an outline, uh, just the easy to follow steps. You know, if one of these green bulbs breaks, my producer and mercury removal expert, Stu, otherwise known as Stu on the program, but his real name is Steve Bergier. It's a long story while it comes to, it was a drinking thing. Anyway, he joins me now outside to demonstrate. Uh, Stu? Yes. You're outside because well, because it's a very dangerous thing we're about to do, Glenn, and I want to thank you for the opportunity to handle such a dangerous substance yeah. on national television. Yeah, you're I welcome. appreciate the opportunity. Now, look, here's the deal. America, I am not kidding you. We couldn't do... Fox wouldn't let us do it inside. You know why? Dangerous. People could be in danger. I got... It. Not kidding. I got instructions on how to handle the light bulb, and if it falls, our director told me today, everyone is to just open up the camera wide and leave and i have a mask here that i'm supposed to put on i told him i'm not gonna wear the mask i died before i did that um okay so Stu, i just don't like how you're making light of this but first first here's what happens let's say you got the light you have a light bulb i do have a light bulb um now glenn do not try this at home what you what i'm about to do here on television is more dangerous than drinking a vat of ebola this is right. hot. this is this is not to be attempted by you know here's the thing yeah. I guarantee. Gresh, did we have to say that legally not to try this at home? Yes. This is a light bulb. It's a light bulb. Oh, it's great. It's green. It's so toxic. I have to tell you, don't break one of these intentionally at home. Okay, so there's... You're looking good, Stu. Thank you. Now, this is the way. I know you change your light bulbs at home. You're all dressed up like this. It's nice. It's Earth Day. You get into the toxic suit. You put the little booties on and the mask. Now you're taking it out of the box and you accidentally drop it right because we, there is mercury in here but obviously they're pretty much impossible to break Glenn. Hold on nothing just a second please clear the area well no no, no that, that you got to follow the rules Glenn. that happens after you break it oh really yeah. okay okay so just think oh hey i'm just gonna, oh no oh now panic okay no no step one is hey, have all pets and leave, leave the area no step one is panic i thought no, no panic is i think later okay. this is have all people and pets leave the area leave the area leave this is an earth day alert Leave the area, uh -huh. remove your pets from the surrounding. Could if you, you have a pet ferret, remove it immediately. Stu. This is an Earth Day alert. Yes, Glenn. Would you do me a favor? Yes. Just bark it in case there's a pet haphazardly out there by himself. Run, 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 run. Okay, so now. No. That was, that was, so was here's step one. According to the EPA, I'm not. We're not. This is a public service because we're so green. We want you to know this is what you're really Be careful, ma'am. Be careful. He broke the light bulb accidentally. Step one is have people and pets leave the room. Yeah, we didn't have any pets, Glenn, but we figured we, we made all, since we're in New York, all the rats and roaches, we kind of made them scatter. Yeah, no, that was too bad. Yeah. Uh, open a window for 15 minutes. Well, you're outside, so. Yeah, I'm outside, but this is a good tip, though. If you're, like, in an office and you're, and you're in a, uh, some sort of meeting you don't want to be into, this would be something like if you break a bulb, you can literally tell your boss the government uh, <laughs> says we have to leave right now. All right, good. And also, you might poison your boss, which is always a positive, too. Not that I've thought about it, you know, every day. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm your boss. Can we put the window back up here so we can have the... Do we have the window? There it is. Am this is exactly what the windows look like here in Manhattan, too. Hi. You know, kind of weird cartoon strawberry shortcake wood windows. So, all right. We'll be back. The rest of the light bulb evacuation plan. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. And some new environmental standards that are coming for your safety and the safety of the Earth. Next. Next. 
Happy Earth Day. We're going back outside where it's safe to uh, clean up. I would. I hope he's wearing gloves. He's cleaning up one of these fancy uh, light bulbs here. This is uh, Steve uh, Brigier, otherwise known as Stu, on my program. Um, Stu, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, you're doing. Are you okay, man? Well, I do have a breach in this glove. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, I would. I, we're going to get you to the hospital soon. Okay, well, yeah, we'll go okay, right the, the next step, according to the EPA, is you carefully scoop up the glass pieces and powder using stiff paper and cardboard. Do not, whatever you do, do not use your hands. The thing about this carpet glove, you can cycle it to clean up other uh, disasters that environmentalists create as well. Right, but cardboard's really actually bad for the trees, but we'll get into that. Okay, listen, here's what I need you to do. Scoop it up all with a cardboard, and then you need to put it into a glass jar. You have one? Yeah. Good thing you were prepared for an emergency light bulb break. Just happen to have a glass jar. By the way, gang, suit. this is what you're really supposed to do. Do not vacuum these things up. They're not kidding. No, do not. And if it gets on yeah. your clothes, do not wash them. Throw just them out. That's actually out. in the literature. Okay, we're going to come back to you here in just a second. Now, President Obama marked Earth Day with a visit to a wind energy plant in Iowa. You think if you really cared about the earth, you would have saved all the CO2 and not flown to Iowa. Maybe. <laughs> he went for the new era of energy exploration in America. Steve Malloy 